Thank you very much and good afternoon uh, members of the press and those guests that are with us. It uh, gives me really great pleasure to be able to speak just briefly, I wish we had more time, um, about this um, extraordinary visit that we've had uh, to Ethiopia. Um, humbled and uh, happy to have been at the opening of the AU summit. Uh, the AU summit itself provided an opportunity to speak with African leaders on many issues on the continent, uh, from development to conflict, uh, humanitarian crises. Uh, but then stepping off into Ethiopia uh, to witness uh, the tragedies of the conflict all round, uh, there is never a winner in conflict, and to, uh, to see the efforts that have been made by the government and people in Ethiopia for peace. Uh, visiting the regions, uh, region, regions from Tigray to Amhara, Somali, and this morning to Afar. Um, to hear from the leaders there, to hear from the people, um, and to hear really what uh, their hopes are and how they will engage um, with this pathway to peace. I also met with very many of the workers of the United Nations in partnership with Ethiopians in trying to get humanitarian aid and assistance to the people that need it most. And this perhaps is the biggest call that we have, is that that humanitarian assistance needs to get there yesterday. The urgency at which it needs to find, especially women and children that have been affected by this, is extremely important. As you have heard before, the Secretary General continues to reiterate his call for the cessation of hostilities um, in the country um, for us to find that pathway to peace through the national dialogue. Um, this has been a, uh, a journey of solidarity uh, with the Ethiopian people. It is one that we are convinced you will find a way and we will accompany the Ethiopian people to that uh, peace. Uh, then we can really begin to talk about the investments that we need to make in development. This is important in the short and in the longer term. Um, so thank you. Students. That there have been you know, uh, progress in, in peace talks and mediation efforts, uh, particularly then by the African Union. Uh, once you are you are here on the ground, uh, how how are, are these progress uh, manifested? Do you see, do, have you seen any uh, pra practical uh, implications of this uh, uh, progress that the Secretary General has seen, particularly in the ground? Yes, we have with African leaders that continue to speak uh, with uh, the government here and, and, and other leaders. Uh, today I was in the field and uh, the African Union uh, Special Envoy, uh, uh, former, former President Obasanjo, was in Afar and yesterday he was in uh, Tigray. So yes, I think that the, the talks continue and um, there is certainly less hostility than there was um, a few months ago. We are in a much better place and there is much more uh, conversation and dialogue and uh, talk around the national National, the national dialogue itself um, and the, the, uh, the way to peace. Thank you very much. Uh, unfortunately, we're not going to take more questions. She asked if I could The lady. The lady. Thank you. Uh, did you meet the leadership of the TPLF and what are some of their demands as far as the national dialogue is concerned? Thank you. Yes, I did, and, and I think the demands are, are known by all sides, uh, that uh, one wants to see more humanitarian assistance, uh, the cessation of uh, hostilities, and uh, uh, the dialogue, the dialogue uh, to, to answer those demands that, are, that have been, uh, haven't changed. They're the same. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.